I started making comics when I was eight, and uh, this was the first comic I published, which I paid for myself to publish, um, and it's autobiographical. I was uh, 20 when I did this. The story runs here, and all of this is just the feeling in the background. So this boy is haunted by the thoughts of his parents at home who hate each other. Um, I included this because um, here and in a lot of Europe, um, skinheads are quite feared. They're seen as you know quite dark, quite demonic. This was done around the same time, but in England, where skinheads come from, it's a fashion. You know? there, are so, there's, there are some associations with National Front, but it's it's a way of dressing and it's a way of listening to music, and we see them as quite funny. This is when I started working professionally. This was a traditional kind of comic in England, which is about football. However, we, ex we experimented um, quite a lot and wanted to tell stories that um, traditional comics wouldn't usually tell to children. This is the story of a, of a Brazilian child and how he grew up to become a footballer. So it starts in the favelas, uh, his father attacks his mother, he has to work the streets, he fights, he's forced to sell drugs, uh, he's persecuted, and eventually he goes on to become a footballer. I was earning money doing those comics, but to tell personal stories, heartfelt stories, there, was, um, there wasn't any way to make money doing this. So I had to switch to doing illustration, where I took the styles, the drawing comics, with me into illustration. I start doing uh, books for children. In this example, um, I wanted to bring uh, comic storytelling into books for children. For children who find it difficult to read, um, keeping their eyes on the page for a long time is difficult. So by using comics and the words together, they st their eyes remain on the page. I, er I earned a living as an illustrator, but in my time, I began making my own comics, telling my stories in this is very, and this, funny that this is very simple storytelling. Yeah. So I went back to very simplistic storytelling, very similar to what you would see in children's comics in the UK, but telling quite adult stories. This is um, a mirror for a child I knew who was uh, an Indian child. He was the only Indian child in town, and his way of dealing with being the only one was he's very small, but was to always carry himself as if he was the greatest. This is from the same project um, that I'm working in my spare time. Um, this is about um, a girl who's neglected by her mother. The mind of the little girl is completely switched off from her mother's life, and her mother's life is completely switched off from the little girl's life, even though they're on the same sofa. Where I started working professionally again in comics. First of all, I had to take work that wasn't quite what I wanted to do, so therefore I had to experiment so again, this is, um, I don't know if you've heard of Doctor Who, it's, a, it's a science fiction, you know, but um, I wanted to play with the form. So the script I received said that the, the root system in this jungle had come alive and uh, taken over and was surrounding everybody. So I used the root system to create the panels. So everybody is trapped by the root system. It's, it's something that's very common. It's common to comic artists to do, because we don't make comics for money. We, we make it because we have to, because we love comics. So what we do um, is, if we can't make enough comics during the day when we're working, at night we make comics and give them away. This is me finally coming back to where I started and doing, this is my, this is my stories, how I want to do them. Can you read the title? I don't know if you can read it. It's How I Built My Father. It's a commonly held misconception that children are created by parents. In fact, the reverse is true. Parents are created by children. There's, you know, this, this, is, this is, continues the picture of, of his life with his father. We switch from his, from his childhood to um, his, his uh, teens, late teens. Same character. Um, and he hears the news. Um, that his father has died. 
They, they ask him to identify mm -hmm. his father. He says, yes, this is my dad. I should know. I built him. I'm the one who put him together, but I have no idea how to take him apart. Yeah. So that's to show how, how you can use comics for something that's it's very difficult to talk about. Yeah, to just to, to say it is difficult. Even to write in a book is difficult. Comics can be used to deal with very difficult issues. The other story that I did in this style was The Torturous Garden. This story um, is about, um, in my life, where I was um, uh, bullied, tortured, physically tortured, and um, also at home um, there was physical abuse, and how when I reached my teens, I became like that for a while. And I realised that it was through art that I could get out all of that aggression without hurting anyone else. Uh, this is Don Quixote. This is an adaptation, and it's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, the first book of it is out, the second book will be out next year. This was the opportunity for me to do what I do in the evening with my work, yeah? uh, experimenting for money during the day. Now, a Anya tells me um, there is not a lot of adaptation of classical literature. Not at all. And why? 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 Why do you think that is? Читать больше любили потому что нет. Когда была культура. В Советском Союзе считалось не очень правильным создавать адаптацию для детей, потому что дети должны уметь читать вообще. So this problem comes from the perception of the comics of the children. You know, if you, if you take a book and you turn it into a comic, it, it becomes a childish thing. So obviously, you know, well, hopefully, that's going to show that you know there are things that comics can do that literature can't. Therefore, comics can um, not only distill the literature, but can hopefully. Add something to the enjoyment too. I don't know. Is it one read Don Quixote? А кто его читал Дон Кихота? Сначала до конца. That's pretty good. <laughs> Most times I ask everyone. Says, yeah, I started it. I got this far. Yeah. You found it funny? Веселая история. Who else was it? Did they laugh? It was supposed to be funny at the time in Spain. It was as popular as. Um, I don't know what it would be, we put it in Russia, but in, in the UK, well, whatever's the most popular entertainment in Russia. So therefore, I saw my job, and the job of comics, to make people see just how funny the book is, how great the characters are, and how sad the characters are, and how profound some of the stories within it are. It's a difficult book to approach because it was written 400 years ago. Uh, it was written in Spanish. We're not Spanish, even any of us. So, what? Whatever we're receiving has already been adapted, so what we're looking for is the true spirit of the book. And as, uh, so therefore I, I look at myself as a reader first, and then as a writer. If, if as a reader I feel I've got the true spirit of the book, then hopefully as a writer I can convey that to, to my readership. This is what the book is really like. Yeah. In the case of Don Quixote, making that adaptation, but that's a very special book. It's a, there are uh, many books, despite what I've said, there are many books, I'm happy for them to be there. Maybe somebody else can see something in that book that they can bring it to life in a new way. For me, Don Quixote, yes. There are a few other books I would like to adapt, but most, book, most books, I'm happy with them as they are. Um, it's suddenly just come out. So far, people think it's funny. That's, and that, for me, <laughs> that's a good thing because 
as, as people have read Don Quixote say, you know, and it, it shouldn't be like that. Well, people have read it last, so you know, that's a good that's, that's a good start. But it's only it only came out uh, last month. No, раз уж мы заговорили о том, что в России более развита классическая литература, и если адаптация к ней считается более детской, то у меня такой, наверное, вызов предложение. Я бы хотел увидеть адаптацию Войны и Мира. Ask him if he's going to put the money up for it. Don Quixote was all just drawn in in an ordinary pencil on just ordinary paper. I scan the pencil in and adjust the levels. Does this make sense? Yeah. Adjust the levels so it's blacker and whiter, and then just color them. I'm, I'm really happy doing it. It's, it's very quick. Вы раньше занимались чем-то не особо любимыми делами на работе, а вечером занимались любимыми делами. Сейчас вы занимаетесь любимыми делами на работе, чем вы занимаетесь дома? А у него новая девушка.